Celeron. Celeron is Intel's budget baby. Think of it like that rusty bicycle sitting in the garage. It technically gets you places, but don't expect style, speed, or comfort. Celeron processors are built for bare minimum tasks. Checking emails? Fine. Writing school papers? Works. Watching YouTube? Sure. As long as you don't get greedy with too many tabs. But gaming? Nope. Trying to run Fortnite on a Celeron is like trying to sprint in flip-flops, it'll leave you crying halfway. That said, Celeron still has a purpose. These chips usually power cheap laptops and school Chromebooks. They're ideal for students typing essays, parents handling online bills, or grandparents posting baby photos on Facebook. Basically, it's your get-the-job-done option, nothing fancy. If money's tight and you just need a computer that won't explode, Celeron is there. Just don't expect fireworks. Pentium. Pentium is a step up, like upgrading from a bike to an electric scooter. Still not a car, but at least you've got a motor now. With Pentium, everyday stuff like Netflix streaming, Zoom calls, and basic multitasking is smoother compared to Celeron. It's like the middle child of Intel's lineup, not the favorite, but not forgotten either. Pentium laptops are cheap, decent, and don't make you feel like you're stuck in 2005. But here's the catch. Pentium can't handle heavy lifting. Gaming, 4K, video editing, or big software projects will crush it. Asking Pentium to run demanding games is like asking the kid who got picked last in dodgeball to dunk on LeBron James. Spoiler, it's not happening. Still, for casual users, office workers, or students who just need something dependable, Pentium is a solid choice. It won't wow you, but at least it won't make you rage quit your laptop every time you open Chrome. Intel i3 if Pentium was your scooter, Intel i3 is your first car. Not a flashy sports car, more like a Toyota Corolla. Reliable, affordable, and it won't break down if you push it a little. Depending on the generation, i3 processors pack two four cores, giving you enough muscle for multitasking, streaming, school projects, and even light gaming. Fortnite, Minecraft, and League of Legends run fine, but if you try something demanding, like Cyberpunk 2077, the i3 will beg for mercy. The beauty of i3 is balance. It gives beginners a computer that feels modern without draining the bank account. For students, casual gamers, or anyone who just wants good enough without frustration, the i3 is perfect. It's like grabbing fast food. It's not gourmet, but it fills you up and doesn't hurt your wallet. If Celeron was instant ramen and Pentium was a gas station hot dog, i3 is at least a cheeseburger from a real restaurant. Intel i5 Here's where things start getting fun. Intel i5 is like the Honda Civic of processors, reliable, affordable, and surprisingly powerful when you push it. With 410 cores depending on the version, the i5 nails the balance between price and performance. You can game, stream, edit videos, and multitask without breaking your computer. For budget gaming builds, the i5 is usually the go-to. It's strong enough to handle modern games at good settings while still being cheaper than an i7 or i9, and it's versatile. Great for students, casual gamers, streamers, or office workers who want speed without overpaying. Think of i5 like pizza, everybody loves it. Not the fanciest, not the cheapest, but it hits the sweet spot every time. If you want a PC that can handle a little bit of everything, i5 is the processor that won't let you down. Intel i7 the i7 is where you start showing off. It's not just about working, it's about flexing. If i5 is a Civic, the i7 is a sleek sports car. With more cores, faster clock speeds, and hyperthreading, it handles multitasking like a beast. Editing 4K videos, streaming while gaming, running Photoshop with 20 tabs open, you name it, the i7 powers through. For creators, professionals, or gamers who demand high settings, this is the go-to. But let's be honest, if you're only checking emails and watching cat videos, an i7 is is total overkill. That's like bringing a bazooka to a water balloon fight. Necessary? No. Impressive? Absolutely. If you're serious about performance and hate waiting, i7 is worth it. But if you're only using Word and TikTok, you'll basically own a Ferrari just to drive to Walmart, Intel i9. Now we're at the monster. The i9 is Intel's Formula One car, ridiculously fast, insanely powerful, and outrageously expensive. It's built for hardcore tasks, 8K video editing, 3D animation, massive scientific projects, or maxed out gaming rigs. An i9 laughs at lag. For professionals and enthusiasts, it's a dream processor. But for most normal users, completely unnecessary. Using an i9 just to scroll on Instagram is like hiring Gordon Ramsay to cook your hot pocket. Yes, it'll be perfect, but it's also 
so ridiculous. Still, if money isn't a problem and you want the best of the best, the i9 is your bragging right. It's the processor that says, I could probably launch a spaceship with this. Just know your wallet will cry harder than your computer ever will. Intel Xeon now for Intel's heavy-duty option, Xeon. This isn't designed for gamers or casual users, it's built for professionals who need non-stop reliability. Think of Xeon as a powerful pickup truck. It's not flashy, but it hauls massive workloads without breaking a sweat. Xeons are used in servers, workstations, and industries where computers run 24 7 doing giant tasks like rendering movies, crunching databases, or running company networks. They're expensive, but tough. For gamers though, Xeon is basically useless. It's like buying a dump truck just to commute to school, you'll look powerful, but it makes no sense. Still, for engineers, animators, or anyone who needs reliability over style, Xeon is a lifesaver. It's the chip for people who don't play around they work. Wrap up. So, here's the lineup. Celeron is the squeaky bike, Pentium is your scooter, i3 is the starter car, i5 is the Honda Civic everyone loves, i7 is the sports car, i9 is the Formula 1 beast, and Xeon? That's the pickup truck hauling heavy loads. The key is picking the right one for your life. Students and casual users, stick with Celeron, Pentium, or i3. Gamers and creators, i5 or i7 will make you happy. Hardcore professionals, go for i9 or Xeon. Just remember, buying the wrong processor is like showing up to prom in clown shoes. It technically works, but you'll regret it. So choose smart, save your money, and don't get tricked into overkill unless you just want bragging rights.